Today I'm going to show you how to build a powerful electric bike. First we start with a bike that has 27 and a half inch wheels, front and back disc brakes, and front and back suspension. And this package contains a 5000 watt motor, a 5000 watt brushless controller, a twist throttle, and some wires. As you can see on the controller it says 80 amps, which as you saw in the intro is more than enough. This is a 42 volt 27.9 amp hour battery which I got from eBay. Now I'm removing the silicon in order to be able to access the battery terminals. I got a second battery pack in order to be able to get 84 volts. Testing the cell's voltage is important to be able to know if the BMS is bad or one of the cells are bad. I did a capacity test on one of the cells and got 29.3 amp hour which can sometimes surprise you. After we're done with the test, we're gonna start with connecting a fuse to the negative terminal and a XD90 connector to the positive terminal and the negative side of the XD90 connector to the fuse. Time to put on the tire on the rim. Now we're gonna go ahead and waterproof the hub motor in order to make it last much longer. First we're gonna start with the stator and we're gonna spray paint it with some green primer and paint in one. Next we're gonna use for the rotor some orange primer and paint in one and by the way the color of the paint doesn't matter. The water will get into the hub motor in one way or another so we're gonna 
drill some holes in the hub motor in order to give it a path out. Now we're going to start making the battery support. To weld everything together, we're going to use a MIG welder. Before painting the support for the batteries, we're gonna brush the metal with a electric brush. For the paint, we're gonna start with a gray primer. Now we're going to weld a stainless steel sheet which the battery is going to sit against. Now we're going to weld on some hooks for battery straps that are going to keep the battery in place.
If you're wondering why we're doing a second coat of primer, that's because after all this metal, it's very hard to get to certain places. This is the support for the horn. At the end, I replace the pedals with foot pegs. Now we're gonna put a coat of black paint over the primer. After the paint dried, I connected the horn. After all the wiring, I pack the blinker circuit into the controller. The last thing to do is to screw the controller to the frame. Time to test it out. It's time to give it a test run. If you like this video then please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell in order not to miss any of my new videos.